Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. I hope that you had a super weekend. I know that I did. Peter Wright looked in form in the European Darts Open, made it all the way to the final, had a great tournament average and had darts to win it. He didn't win it, but the performance and uh, getting himself to where he was was awesome. But I do have to point out, as I was looking through YouTube at the weekend, I actually found this video, and I, I found this right idiot speaking about worrying about whether, you know, Peter Wright was on the demise, or does he need to do this, does he need to do... Just, just have a look at this guy here. Has... The question is, is has Peter Snakebite Wright lost his venom? I'm, it really pains me to do this, but I need to, and I uh, want to know I've heard, what you to be honest, I've heard enough. Let, let, let's have a look this over. guy. Clearly an idiot, don't know what he's speaking about, don't know what the video was all about and what all the worry was. Peter Wright is, is as good as ever. He had his darts um, that he, he plays well with. Um, he was hitting high percentages, check out. Let's have a look at his run to the final. His opening match was here, as you can see, and that was against Luke Woodhouse. He had 105.98 average in that game. He had 11 140s. He had a 161 checkout and a 75% checkout ratio, six out of eight. He comfortably beat Luke Woodhouse 6-3. He then went on to John Henderson Hendo, as you can see here. In this match, he had 100.46 um, average. He had a 30% checkout. It's not quite as good, 6 from 20, but it didn't matter. He was playing really, really good darts. And he put Hendo aside 6-2. He then, in the next round, faced Joe Cullum, who I thought was going to be a really tough game. Again, he had a 98.56 average. He hit eight 140s, a couple of 180s, but he had a 75% checkout, six from eight. It's something that Wright has not been doing. He looks back to, to where he was. It was it, it, it starts with, I'm just buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing to see him back. A 1-2-1 one, one checkout as well. Then went into the semi-final against Wadey. Wadey, by the way, is looking absolutely great. Um, he played really well before when he was not dropped well. It was. He was dropped in the Premier League. He played really well. This is doing him wonders. His darts look good. He's corrected his throw. He's hitting good averages and he's playing great. So I thought this would be a really tough one for Wright. It was. Wade played well, but Wright was absolutely on fire. He had a 102.48 average. He had eight 140s, a couple of 180s. He had a 170 checkout and a check. Listen to this: a checkout percentage of 87.5%. He hit seven from eight. Right is back. Did he really go anywhere? I don't know what that guy was speaking about at the start. Then in the final, he faced MVG. Um, he actually lost this 8-7, but he went into a huge, I think it was about a 5-1 lead. Um, he had an average of 98.55 in this one. His highest checkout again was 110. Every single round he had a checkout in the, in the, um, in, in the free score, you know, in 100 plus. 35% uh, checkout um, average on that one. Uh, 7 from 20. I think his doubles did let him know, but he had a shot or a chance to win it. He went for ball. It was just a millimetre out from retaining his title. I think he looked awesome. He looked fresh. He looked... Uh, where has he been? I don't know. But stick with them darts. I just want him to stick with them darts. It's actually really cool. Um, let's have a look. His actual tournament average for European Darts Open over the weekend um, was 100.91. 50% checkout on the doubles. 32 from 64. And his second final of the year. Obviously, um, got to a Players' Championship recently. Lost 6-0 to Anderson. But he looked really, really good. So I had to cover this video. As you can see, I'm happy. Um, let me know your thoughts. What changed? Was it just the darts? Was it... Um, I don't know what it was. But he just looked the Peter Snake bite right that we all know. And it's it was a great weekend. Also, just before I go, I want to let you guys know, don't forget I've got Robbie Green joining me on the show tomorrow. That's going to be great. We're going to be chatting darts, having a bit of banter as well. So do keep your eye out for that one. Um, also, if you haven't joined Fantasy Darts yet, please do. We're almost 400 strong now. The players are growing. Uh, we had the, um, uh, a winner, obviously, for the tournament for the Euros yesterday. Check out www.fantasydarts.tv. But also, 
don't forget my main channel and brand, which is danceplanet.tv. Chris Mason's got his own channel on there now. To The Point show has been uploaded. So please check out uh, Chris's show on danceplanet.tv. It's a great watch. As always, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to get to 3,000 as soon as possible. Don't forget to turn your notifications on and I'll catch you all in the next video. A smiley gav. Bye.